Volcanic eruptions are categorized by volcanologists according to the composition of the magma, the very hot liquid rock which separates into lava and gas at the surface. If the magma is rich in basalt, it is very fluid. It rises easily in the volcano and spouts out in fountains of lava. The lava flows for long distances. As it solidifies, it becomes a volcano with a gentle slope, known as a shield volcano. If the magma also contains gas, the lava comes out in strips. The volcano also expels ash and rocks known as volcanic or lava bombs. These ejections accumulate closer to the crater and form a cone. If the magma is more viscous, it rises with more difficulty to the surface. It can remain blocked like a cork in the chimney of the volcano. Underneath, the pressure of the gases rises until the blockage is blown off. The resulting explosion ejects ash and more solid materials in a rising column several kilometers high. These types of eruptions release little lava. If the magma contains more silica, the lava is thicker and the pressure under the cap is even greater. When it gives way, the blockage is pulverized and the base of the dome is torn apart. A thick scorching cloud spurts out. This cloud of burning gas and lava hurtles down the side of the volcano at several hundred kilometers per hour. But there is an even more explosive type of eruption. This involves lava very rich in silica, which is put under so much pressure that when the cap blows, the volcano can itself collapse. The plume of ash which comes out of the volcano rises in the form of an umbrella cone, tens of kilometers high. Some of these eruptions are so violent they can modify the planet's climate for years to come.